Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty on NCAA 14. Today we take on number 8 Tennessee. Before we do, I will show you a little bit of recruiting as we come off fresh off of a win versus the fake outlaws, the UNLV Rebels. And we are currently in a really interesting position with a lot of different players. We added a lot of guys to our board last week and or maybe it was two weeks ago at this point uh, with the buy. And we're trying to get these guys, and we're not too far out on some incredible players. Terrence Allen out of Belton, Texas. A gem of a wide receiver. Looks super, super talented. Great route running on him. Got an athlete in Jake Reed not too far behind. We're slipping on some other guys like Brandon Campbell, who's a very, very good cornerback. Would immediately be the best cornerback on our roster by far. Reggie Harris, a tackle from Park City, Utah. Seems pretty impossible that we get him by now. Uh, but we're making a play on a lot of these guys. We'll have to see what ends up happening. Also, because you guys know I love to address the comment section. Um, like, I get that you guys love the UGF Pandas. Like, Drew is one of my really good YouTube friends, not the expert. If you guys don't know what you probably do. But when you get these little nerds that come in the comments, just to remind you, the UGF Pandas is better. Like, as soon as I upload my Outlaws video, it's like, come on, dude. You just seem like a little dick. <laughs> a little dick, little dick, you know what I mean? A uh, little bit of wordplay there. But, like, come on. I get that you like the Pandas. I, I, I get that. It's a fantastic series. Drew's been killing it on YouTube because of that series. And it's incredible. But you can like them. That's fair. But to go into somebody else's video and say, hey, uh, just so you know, they're better. Like, you can think that. I'm not saying you can't, but just... Keep some of these comments to yourselves, guys. Like, act like an actual person with, uh, you know, values and not just thinking about yourself. Tennessee's a 99 overall. We could be in for a tough one today. On paper, I'll tell you the UGF Pandas are absolutely better. They're like a 90-something overall at this point. Top five in the nation. My outlaws are uh, really not good at all. <laughs> and we got Tennessee on the schedule. Number eight. 99 overall, we are 3-1, and one. haven't had a Sun Belt matchup yet. This one could be brutal. Rain is coming down here in Tennessee, in Rocky Top. I don't know, uh, Franchise is back editing videos. I don't know if he missed any, but let's play Rocky Top for like 10 seconds. I know we're playing them today as we have the number one pass offense in the country. But Rocky Top slaps, B. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, play, play Rocky Top right over this for like, two, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Wish that I was on old Rocky Top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Top. Ain't no telephone bill. Naylor Stadium, Ozark State. Versus number eight, Tennessee. Should be a good one. And I'm not even listening to it in Rocky Tops. Already stuck in my head. Wish I was on old Rocky Top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Top. Ain't no telephone bills. This is a really nice looking stadium. And Ozark, pretty well traveled. This is a packed stadium. This is a really cool place to play. This might be my first time ever playing here in NCAA 14, and I'm a fan. Colby Spencer coming off an incredible performance versus UNLV. I think six total touchdowns. Maybe it was five. Incredible game, both passing and rushing. Omar Williams was a god as we look to uh, throw the ball to him again today. As we go, Jake Rodriguez. Let's cut back. He picks up 10. Second and 12. Oh, I'm getting... There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> We're scanning the field trying to find something, but it's Jonathan Kongbo who brings down Colby Spencer. And it is now third and 24. We've completed and converted on longer uh, third downs. 
I think last game we had or two games or something like that was like a third and 42. Something like that. We're going to go deep. Okay. Not so deep. This pressure is flying in. Someone also had the idea to get Pete Riley on kick since we don't really have a good uh, punt returner. Or excuse me, a good punter. And of course, you guys know I am the best punter on YouTube. But currently, we were being held back. So I'll see if I can get him as our punter number one. Yeah, it looks like we did it. We'll try to do that in the depth chart before our next game we play. What is your kick power, Pete? 84. Significantly better for Slippery Pete Riley, number 69. It's an option. That's wide open over the middle. It switched me on to Chase. No. Oh, my goodness. It's a touchdown. Eli Wolf, 50-yard catch on Tennessee's first offensive snap. And I thought it would switch me on to the other defender. Uh, nope. They shut down the run when I tried to give it to Scott Lewis a little bit earlier. I'm not sure how we're going to move the ball on this Tennessee team. They are incredibly fast, strong. It's going to be rough. That's open over the middle. Roland Francisco. Big gain of 20. It's all about the yak with this team today, probably. I mean, good block. There we go. Scott Lewis with a beautiful juke move. He's breaking a tackle. He picks up 19. That's what I'm talking about. It's been hard to get him going. That might have been only his third carry. But the first two were not successful at all. Quick slant. Hunter register. Easy gain of seven. Third and two. Somebody's got to get open. Rob Gaither. First down. All reliable. Go, Scott. Go, Scott. Oh, so close to the end zone. He is such a threat out of the backfield. Colby Spencer on the run and on the money to the tailback. Scott Lewis so close to that end zone. Might try a fullback dive. They have been very unsuccessful when we've tried them in the past. Tim O'Brien will be the recipient. He gets it. And it's Tim O'Brien on the touchdown. Let's go. We are on the board against Tennessee. We're actually going to tie it up at seven apiece. Time to play some defense. I'm not sure if pressure is going to be the best way to stop this team. Devin White, chase him down, please. That's a big solo tackle in open field on their running back, which we're just going to call him Carlin for now. Get to the outside. Edwin Garrett. Oh, that's not going to work. Devin Robeson wraps up. But the first down is gained by their running back. I'm going to say it's like feel um, on me. <laughs> I have no idea. Get in the backfield. Mike Lee. Oh, my goodness. Josh Jackson picks up the first. Good spin by Johnson. And we ran past them. Good stiff arm. Marquez Callaway has a touchdown. Dude, the, the X tackle is so inconsistent. Like, look at that. Ugh. Brutal. All right, his name is pronounced Carlin Feels of Me. So that's not too difficult. But uh, it was, you know, tough at first without knowing how to say that. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling to find something open. We're just going to throw it away. Oh, man. Tennessee flies on defense, let me tell you. That's going to be open. Can you turn up field? Omar drops the ball. You hate to see it. That's open. In the flat. Omar, turn up field. Can't plant. It's going to be fourth and one from the 34. We are going to stay aggressive, and we're going to go for it. We'll try read option. And it's going to work. Colby Spencer is actually shut down short. Play clock. Looks like it kept running, though. Are we going to be on offense still? Oh, man. That was close. That cornerback came in from the side so quickly. Ballsy call, but it pays off with a fresh set of downs. Go, Colby. Let's just slide. <laughs> I'll take the first. 
Good counter. Give me the outside block. Scott Lewis has some speed. We're going to juke it back to the inside. Lewis still going inside the 30. Another big 20-plus yard gain for the senior running back. Out to the flat. Cunningham jukes back inside. He picks up maybe nine. Does. We're really going to have to play perfect football to beat Tennessee. And that could prove to be difficult as we're going to dunk it off to Rodriguez. Tried to stand him up, but he is stood up. Tried to run him over, should say. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're playing it tight versus Tennessee. Our defense just hasn't been there. I think the offense has performed fairly well. Obviously, the first drive was, I mean, not much of a drive at all, let's be honest. But I think we're finding it on offense. Hopefully, we get it together on defense. That's a heavy blitz. Colby, show off the speed. We're just going to duck out of bounds. Picking up 10. Already 10 first downs today. Handoff goes to Scott Lewis. He navigates and finds the end zone. As our backfield now has combined for our two touchdowns. Tim O'Brien, the fullback, and now Scott Lewis, the tailback. And it will be 14 to 14. No, we're not going for it. 14-14. <laughs> pretty much the entire second quarter to play. And defense... Show me you can stop the Volunteers even once. To run and feels that me has some space. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to shut him down. Feels that me has space. He picks up another first down. They're staying in the hurry up, and I got caught out in dollar on the first play of this drive. And it's not worth using a timeout right now, but they can just keep running the ball down our throat and there's nothing we can do about it due to the personnel on the field. And Fields and Me is just cranking out big gain after big gain after big gain. And we could move in to something like the 5-2 here, but it's not like we have multiple defensive linemen out there on the field. Devin White's sliding down a right end. It's just not the personnel we want out there, but it works pretty well. As Devin White came in first, and then it was Daryl Bradford who... Who wrapped up for the big tackle for loss. Maybe they'll finally stop calling hurry up. At the end of last game, I kept usering Albert Johnson and kept making great Ooh. spin moves. And we couldn't get any pressure. But Quentin Dormady goes down. That's Albert Johnson. Fat Albert on the sack. He's actually extremely quick. But last game against UNLV, they'd get the ball out too quickly. And we were getting like the pressures. But we couldn't force anything. And that's just a fantastic play. And that's what 89 finesse move gets you from the defensive tackle position. Fantastic interior pressure and a three and out forcing sack. And we're back on offense with a chance to take the lead. We're going to step up with Colby Spencer. Way to avoid the potential sack from the defensive tackle. Get up in the pocket, get out of the pocket, and pick up the first down using his legs. That's going to be a first down with Rob Gaither. Takes a big hit. That's going to be a tough throw. That is lucky to be uh, incomplete and not intercepted. Pressure came in and I forced the ball. Just a dumb decision. And again, we're lucky that the ball is not going the other way. I don't know how many times we're going to be able to stop Tennessee. We have to take advantage of all the times that we do. As the run was clearly not the call there. Is this four down territory? That's a good question. I think it kind of depends what we do on this play. And we're going to throw it to Kedrick Cunningham. And it's going to be fourth and six. I'm not punting the ball back at midfield. All right, fourth and six. Looking for the first down. And we're going to scramble. Rolling out with Colby Spencer. And we have the first down and more. That's why he's a difference maker on this team. I mean, you guys see it every week, obviously. But that is... Such a big conversion. That's wide open. We go to the tight end. Jake Rodriguez, easy first. Making the right reads is a really good way to pick up first downs. Quick completion. That's Roland Francisco. And I think we're going to try to manage the clock a little bit in this situation. We do have to kick the ball back to Tennessee at the half. So I want to take off as much time as I can. I would take the touchdown now. I just worry that Tennessee will answer and then get the ball back at half. And we're going to be short. It's going to be third and one from the one. 
Or maybe like in, we can convert on the inch line to get the first down. So I think we might just stick to the run. We might go fullback dive again. This isn't fullback dive. What? Might hand the ball to Scott Lewis. And we have the touchdown easily. Almost wonder if Tennessee kind of gave that to us. We take the lead for the first time today. Going to be 21-14. Now in favor of your Ozark State Outlaws. Tennessee now has just under a minute. Three timeouts to answer. And then get the ball at the half. This is still a dangerous spot. Defense needs to come up really, really clutch. Nothing big. A field goal doesn't really hurt us. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. Using Johnson on the defensive line. And he is just backed up immediately. Yeah, okay. Hey, that left guard seems like he's pretty good. And their quarterback, Quentin Dormady, has not missed a throw so far. It's a screen. Oh, my goodness. Get there, Johnson. That's a good tackle. And he stayed in bounds as well. Yeah, I think Tennessee called their second time out there. That's a really big tackle. I wish I would have recognized the screen a little bit earlier. Get in the backfield. You're going down the middle. And Bird catches it. No. That's a big gain. Great catch in traffic. Great throw. I mean, everything about that was just awesome. There we go, Johnson. Tries to beat two. What is Devin Robeson doing? Oh my goodness. That is just not good. That's a great throw. And it's Juwan Jennings. Probably the best player on this offense, I think. Just have everybody back off. Again, field goal really doesn't hurt us. The touchdown is what we really don't want. And they're going to go for the pitch. Got to wrap up Robeson. Good stuff. Feels to me picked up the first down, though. So that clock's going to stop momentarily. And we might just have to blitz heavy and try to shut him down. They're throwing, and that is an easy touchdown. Carlin feels to me just wide open in the end zone. Dormady is yet to miss a throw. 11 for 11, 171, three touchdowns. It's going to be a tie ball game going into the half. And Tennessee gets the football back. So, your Nose Ark State Outlaws fan, you hate to see it. What are the odds we can score in eight seconds? I think pretty low. I mean, we're gonna try though. Okay, I don't think it's happening. That is the half. Scott Lewis caps off a pretty good first two quarters with a 10 yard gain. 21-21 versus number eight Tennessee. I mean, I don't really think we've been in control at any point despite having the lead at one, at one point. 21-14. Tennessee's kind of controlled the game. And we just need to come out and have a big second half. Kind of surprised we're in it with Tennessee. But that doesn't mean we can, you know, play like, hey, the game's over. We've already done better than anyone expected. Let's not worry about it. No. We had to come out here, perform even better. What is going on? Why is Slaughter playing a linebacker? Oh, man. Oh, he's injured. Hell yeah. Who's who's their backup? I guess we'll find out. It's another thing that's wide open. Good tackle by Robeson. I don't think we can match up in man coverage and the zone's being destroyed. That was Jarrett Guarantano. Yeah, I feel like we're just kind of SOL right now. Don't really have an answer for anything. Good tackle. Nope. Devin White was bowled over by Carlin Fields and me. Still a tackle for loss. That's Fat Albert. It's a run. Get there, Devin. Good tackle. Third and seven. A sack takes them out of field goal range. Is he injured too? That'd be awesome. I'll pay the players. Like you, you always see, you know, players arguing in the NCAA for getting paid. I will give you bounties for taking their players out of the game. Shout out to the Saints. We are in Louisiana. So I really have no issue with that. And that is going to be a completion. I tried to go for the hit stick with Mike Lee to force an incompletion, but Marquez Callaway picks up the first down. Oh, uh, brutal. Oh, great play. Sandoval Slaughter takes down Dormady, who's back in the game. That's what I like to see. Big plays from the defensive line. He didn't even have a chance to pitch that one. Feels to me he's going to be out for the next two quarters with a strained Achilles. 
Backup running back is Kelly. Now going to take a lot of reps. And that is open, and the throw is missed. It's going to be third and 14. That's Dormady's first incompletion of the game. And he had him, too, which is weird. Right, they're going to go for a run. Daryl Bradford's bowled over. Great open field tackle. John Kelly has nowhere to go. Picks up five, but it is fourth down. That's hitman Mike Lee in the secondary. Great tackle. Tennessee likely will go ahead 24-21 at home. It is a tougher kick in the rain. It is pretty short, though, so I think he's got this. Kick is up and easily through. 24-21 in favor of the Vols. Let's, uh, let's score a touchdown. Retake the lead. Wide open. Turn up field, Roland. First down. That's a blitz with the safety. That's open. Rob Gaither, turn up field. Stuck out of bounds. Good read option. Colby, just don't get injured. Third and six. Probably not four down territory here, regardless of what happens. I say probably. I mean, you never know. That's a blitz coming in hot. Kendrick Cunningham is going to be short of the first down marker. Fourth and two. A field goal ties the game. How do we want to play this? Let's see how they line up. Because this is a makeable field goal, even if we lose five yards. We'll line up and read option, and we'll see how they look. Ooh. I think we can convert this. We're going to go for it. And I accidentally hand the ball off. Ah! Ah, you hate to see it. As we're still down. Big play by Tennessee. We gambled, and it did not pay off. But I think against a top 10 team... When you have opportunities like that in fourth and two, you have to gamble. And if it pays off, you win the game. If it doesn't, I mean, you might have lost anyway. Throw the ball at me. It's so open. My players do not perform well in zone coverage. I think that much is very easy to tell. Get in the backfield. There it is. That's Mike Lee who ended up wrapping up, making the tackle. More of a hit than a wrap-up, to be honest. That's a hit man from Strong Safety. Sandoval Slaughter also there, but Mike Lee credited with a tackle for loss. And it is third and four. A big play would be critical for our success. But we're going to see it in the fourth quarter. Push him back, Daryl. That's, that's going to be short. Fourth and inches. Will Tennessee go for it? Up three. No, they're going to punt. We do have to be very mindful of a fake. And Scott Lewis broke his collarbone. He's out seven weeks. Okay. And you guys have your wish. Kedra Cunningham is now the starting running back for the Ozark State Outlaws for the next seven weeks. And that's how Scott Lewis's senior season might end. That sucks. Barely have the lead on uh, Scott Lewis here. How good are you, Scott Lewis? You have 95 speed. I forgot about that. This is our running back, probably. Here we go. The new tandem of Scott Lewis and of Colby Spencer. First play will be a handoff to Scott Lewis, and there's absolutely nowhere to go. Handoff. Back to Lewis. Powers over him. Two-yard touchdown run, and we are on the board. This is a sick player. He was such a big playmaker for us in so many different ways. That's a really, really big loss. We're going to roll out. I don't think we have that throw. We're going to go back across. Ah, it's just, just stupid. It's very difficult to convert without Scott Lewis. We're going to throw that quick. Please hold on, Jake Rodriguez. First down. Let's go. I was a bit hesitant to throw that ball, but he stayed open. It shouldn't be surprising, but against a team as good as Tennessee is, you pretty much have to be perfect to score. And it's, it gets tough. We're going to throw that ball quickly. Register drops it on second down. Third and three. This absolutely is four down territory. I hope that we don't have to uh, have it come to that. We're going to roll out, though, and throw that ball. No. It's open. That's Hunter Register across the field, and it's fourth and three now. 
trying to make that an easier throw for Colby Spencer, and it did not work. Two for three on fourth down, and on our last attempt, we did not convert. This is a really, really big fourth and three. We're gonna throw that ball, and it's not, it's not on target. Oh, Colby. You've been so good the entire game, and then you miss on fourth down. And the Ozark State defense has to come up clutch again. How many stops can we really ask of them? Johnson, that's gonna be open. Devin White wraps up. Eli Wolf picks up the first down. We have to hold them to a field goal here if we want a chance. They're coming out with a lot of receivers here. And that's open. Callaway. It's down inside the 15, picked up 23. What an incredibly insane timing play with a route combo that was insane. Can't believe that was open. To run. Oh, you had to make the stop there. Kelly's still going. What? How? Oh my god. Read option. Shut it down, Devin. He read it and then didn't react. There's still time. We're going to be down by 10. We had to score quickly, though. Still have our time out. The game's far from over. Oh, Kendrick Cunningham says the space, too. That was a tough window to get the ball through, but we did it. And Kendrick Cunningham, very good at getting uh, some yards after the catch. I don't like any of those suggestions. Just straight screens. We need, we need yards now. Time's ticking away. They haven't allowed anything deep all game. We might try it here. With that safety coming up in the box. Colby, does he have the speed? He does. Come on. Why did he slow down so much? Where'd that stamina go? <laughs> oh my, what? Come on, Kedrick. Good juke. All right. The hurry up really drained stamina. That's what happened to Colby Spencer, I can assure you. Okay. We're in scoring position. Basically, we're entering the red zone. The teams look pretty good. Got to throw it away. Okay. This could be good. They only have one safety. Might just regular streak Omar. Let's hope something gets open. We're going to have to check down. And that's Lawrence, and he is uh, not going to get it. We need to kick the field goal to stay in the game. All right, slippery Pete in the rain. Game on the line here. Kick is up and good. Down by seven. We still have a chance. Two and a half minutes to play. We have three timeouts. We need the defense to step up and make some big, big, big plays. Get pressure! I didn't switch on. That might have been a sack. An incompletion works almost as well. In fact, the clock doesn't move. Uh, maybe even better. Not in motion. We've seen this before. Someone's got to get pressure. They're going underneath. And we're going to call a timeout. It's going to be third and nine. As they get a very, very short completion there. I don't know what, what would work. We're going to try cover three. And uh, change this to that. And see if we can't shut them down. Please run a screen or something. Johnson getting pressure. And that's wide open. <laughs> uh, I thought I had a hook zone there. And a curl the flat. I gotta wonder where they were. It's crazy how bad zone coverage is in this game. Like, it's really, really bad. Need the players to step up now, a man. Fisher, get back! Big tackle. We're gonna call a timeout. It's gonna be another third and nine. Let's hope they run the ball this time. At least give us a better chance to uh, at least make a play. Because we're getting exposed in coverage. Like, I don't like Fisher against the tight end. Or anyone. So that's actually better if they motion him over. Please run the ball. They're not going to. They're going deep. Chase! Chris Chase couldn't get over. Oh, no. He's like high man coverage, too. We need we need a turnover. Come on, defense. Show me what you're made of. 
Run up the middle. Good tackle by Robeson. Maybe could have been there with Lee, but we brought him all the way up. It's going to be third and two. Oh, I needed a sack. Fumble. We could get this tackle for loss, but with no timeouts and a field goal likely going to go through the upright, I think this one's all over. Kick is up and right down the middle. They extend the lead back to 10. And unfortunately, that is going to do it here in Rocky Top. It's wide open over the middle. Roland Francisco, big gain. Still breaking tackles. Clock's going to stop momentarily while we get set. That's a big gain of 46. And they're just too fast. Roland Francisco... Let me get close to the end zone. I mean, I guess if we score very, very quickly, we still could get the onside, however unlikely that is. And that's going to be another... Nope. Francisco drops the ball. <laughs> yeah, I almost wonder if we should take the field goal just to try and save a couple seconds, but I don't think it's worth it. We're just going to take off with Colby. You know, we are going to take the field goal. Should have made that decision much earlier. It's still not an easy kick with the wind against us. But I think I think we have it with slippery feet. Kick is good. We're gonna be down by seven. Seven seconds to go. We need the onside. And that is gonna be recovered by Bonds. And that is actually gonna be the game. We keep playing these top teams tough. They keep getting the better of us in a lot of instances. Pretty good game for Colby Spencer, although no passing touchdowns. Yards are a little bit inflated because of that long streak to Roland Francisco at the end of the game. Scott Lewis, decent game from him, two touchdowns, and he is going to be out for the next seven weeks, which is a really big loss. No real standout receivers, of course, no touchdowns. And then defensively, I think Albert Johnson had a really good game. Soul sack on our team. Two tackles for loss. Was a, a really solid player. Good game. Robeson involved too. And of course, no interceptions, no forced fumbles, nothing like that. But that is going to do it for this game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.